Hans Georg von der Marwitz is a father of four, a farmer, local politician, and a member of the German parliament. It's a typical day at work for this jack of all trades. Today, he's checking up on what's happening around his 900 hectare estate. A tractor has got stuck in the mud. It's a typical occurrence here in the Oderbruch region, an area located within the former floodplains of the Oder River. During the 18th century, the delta was drained to free up arable land, but now the drainage ditches are old, and that's caused major problems for the farmers here. The systematic drainage of the delta has led to constant increases in the groundwater levels, and now we're the ones having to deal with it all. We're doing all we can to lead a public debate on what to do about it. Friedersdorf has been home to the Marwitz family since the 17th century, but after World War II their property was seized and the Soviet occupiers tore down the castle here. The family church stood in ruins. Hans Georg von der Marwitz visited in 1989. On my first trip, I visited Friedersdorf and was appalled at the condition of the village, as well as the farms and the Marwitz family property. I can still remember calling my mother and father from Berlin that evening. I remember it well. I said, Friedersdorf has been lost forever. There's nothing beautiful about the place anymore. Nothing attractive that would make me want to settle there. But the family's roots won out. In 1990, when Marwitz was 29, he bought back his family's land and moved to Friedersdorf with his wife. They lived in a mobile home at first and didn't receive a warm welcome from the neighbors. A lot of people worried that all of the clichés that developed over the past 44 years would turn out to be true about the landowning aristocracy and their attitude towards farmers living on their former land. So there were many people who weren't exactly hostile, but they didn't necessarily trust us at first. But their neighbors soon realized the couple's good intentions. Today, Marwitz is involved in local politics and serves as the region's representative in the German parliament. After Bundestag sessions in nearby Berlin, he hurries home. He and his wife live in the castle's former gatehouse with their four children and his mother. You can still see the ruins of the castle on the right side of this hill. But there's nothing else left. We're very grateful that we don't have to live in a massive house like that. We never had to worry about whether we should live in the castle or not, because it wasn't there anymore. And we're very happy about our current quarters. The castle is history, but the small local church has been restored to its former glory. Marwitz provided this granary to the town's cultural association, which he presides over. Today, it's home to a restaurant and exhibitions that draw thousands of visitors to Friedersdorf each year. The family has helped rebuild much of the town. Noblesse oblige. Or at least if I live here in Friedersdorf or have family ties to the area, I should recognize my duty to ensure that what I have here today is preserved and that it's passed on to the next generation. Hans Georg von der Marwitz already knows what he plans to leave behind. His 18-year-old son will inherit the land so that the family's centuries-old legacy in Friedersdorf will endure for years to come.